Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Aline from Scrap Amazing, and today I'm here with my second video in my collaboration with Melinda. Today we challenged ourselves to use some stitching on our layout, so I chose some grey and white thread and did some stitching with my stitching machine and I just randomly stitched some zigzag on the background. There's not really a thing behind it, I just did it randomly so it looked nice to me. I'm adding some golden stars, they are small sequins and yeah, Melinda challenged me to um, include them in my stash kit I put together last week so if you haven't seen the video of my kit share I will link it in the description box below so you can check it out so you know what I can grab from my stash kit. Um, basically we are we picked a stash kit from our stash and now we are working um, on some challenges and each, each week we have a different theme and we are doing this through the months of May and June. So I'm really looking forward to get some layouts done. This layout is about um, my dog, or it's not my, but um, of my family and mine, so. And yeah, he died in April. He got really, really sick. He had cancer and it was really, really bad. And we just, yeah, it got, yeah, we got the information that he got it um, like one week or one and a half weeks before he actually died so we were it was quite unexpected but it, in the end he was really really feeling so bad so it was yeah I think it was the best for him because he was not feeling good and he was I think in the end he was in pain, so yeah. But anyway, I'm scrapping the photo of us, so I visited my um, parents. Um, yeah, because of the because he was sick, and I wanted to see him um, again. And it was um, in the uh, during the week. Normally, I would just go um, to them at uh, on the weekend. And yeah, he came to me and he wanted to have so many snuggles so yeah i know i think he already knew that he would not see me again so yeah and i wanted to document this this photo was snapped by my sister and it's the last kiss i gave him so i really wanted to document this and yeah i, I already added a glass scene bag i had to size it down a little bit and I'm including a tag in this created pocket and um, I want to include some hidden journaling because I think it's a quite not private story but yeah I wanted to add some story to the picture and I thought it was would not go with the overall look of my layout but yeah I wanted to make sure that I have some journaling on this layout um, yeah, I'm adding some paint. This is chalk paint in midnight blue. I just wanted to give it a kind of a sky at night feeling. So I have the stars and these stitching. So I thought to add some blue splatters. And yeah, this layout is quite basic. So there's not a lot going on. But you will see, I tried to find some papers to match, but I included some bright colors in my kit, and yeah, I wanted, I really wanted to scrap this photo, so I thought, yeah, I can make it work. So I couldn't use a lot of paper from the kit, but I think it's, yeah, it's working for me like this. So it's a theme where you don't need a lot of quite colourful paper and I think um, the layout turned out quite nice and it's 
not too sad looking but it's it's okay um, I'm calling this layout last kiss I already picked out the thickers um, I'm using white and gold thickers um, you will see I just had them in the right yeah now I'm putting them down where I want them and I really love this touch of gold repeated on my layout so I have the gold in the stars I'm repeating it uh, in the thickers and uh, in the tag there's also some gold um, I already added some ephemera on the left and on the right um, of the photo it's just basic embellishments but yeah I really wanted to um, let the photo stand out because yeah it's it was not the best photo to, actually um, so I turn it in black and white and just lighten it up a little bit because it was quite dark but there was just this photo so I had to go with it and it turned out quite nice and yeah I'm so happy that I have this photo and can document this last moment of us um, yeah if you haven't already check out Melinda's channel she's doing a stitching layout as well so I'm really looking for what she created because I think it's perhaps totally different to mine I just use some um, stitching with my stitching machine and perhaps I think she did some hand stitching or planned to do some hand stitching so I'm really looking forward to her layout um, yeah I'm just adding all the stuff down and gluing down my title and I'm looking to my uh, through my embellishments and will pick out some gold words from this um, sticker sheet that's on my right and it's um, I think it says love me forever or something um, yeah that's basically the layout I really enjoyed doing it and it was a quite quick one and I just liked how it turned out it's so basic and you can do it with so little supplies um, and it's it's just um, documenting the memory and I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's challenge. Bye!